Hello everyone! We decided that we wanted to do an art project with you and we wish you were here to do it with us but we hope that you have some of these ingredients in your own home. Um, the first thing you'll need is Elmer's glue. The next thing you'll need is either watercolor paints or food coloring will work as well. And the last thing you need is a plastic yogurt lid. Goggles are optional. So are pipettes, you can use anything else, but we like to be like scientists. All right, finally, don't forget, you need a small piece of string. We are going to make sun catchers. Yeah. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your glue and you're going to pour a layer of glue into your yogurt lid. And then you wanna make sure that it makes kind of an even layer, so you might spread it around a little. And of course, depending on the size of your yogurt lid, you might use a little more or less. I bet Rachel's going to use a little bit less glue than me because she has a smaller yogurt lid. So once you have your perfect layer of glue, you can take your pipette or other dripping device and you can choose colors and drip them into your glue. You don't want a ton, just a few drips. And then optionally, you can leave it kind of splattery, and we'll show you a close-up later. Or you can use a toothpick, and you can swirl them around, swirl the colors, make some pretty sort of latte shapes. And you don't have to completely fill it with color, but you're going to do you. The last thing you want to do is you want to take your yarn. It needs to be a short string. This is so you can hang it up in the window once the glue is dry and you want to fold it in half so the two loose ends <coughs> go into the glue. You want to make sure those two loose ends are submerged in the glue so that when the glue dries, it'll be encasing the yarn real good. And then you leave it in a sunny spot to dry. Once it's dry, you can hang it in your window and hopefully it will catch some of the beautiful spring sunshine that's coming through the windows in your home. Yay! All right, let's give you a close-up. You look real close. So I use these kinds of motions to make swirls. And you make sure that those yarn ends are nicely covered. Wow. You can take a look at these and see. I have some bubbles in mine. That's okay. We'll see what happens. Hi, friends. I wanted to show you our end product of our sun catchers. So I'm going to show you how to take them out of the yogurt lid and how they look. Here are our yogurt lids. I made two and I actually have one that was a little bit of an experiment I can explain to you in just a moment. And then this one's Mary Margaret's. So the ones that I made, the smaller ones, I already popped out to make sure they were all good. So there's one, and then I have the other here. Actually sprinkled some of the salt at the bottom to see what would happen. And I kind of got like a little frozen icicle kind of look. And then to pop them out is really simple. They should already be kind of peeling up at the edges when they're completely dry. And you just gently lift them out. And there you go your sun catchers. You can hang them up in your window and see how beautiful they are. All right, friends, if you want to send us pictures of your sun catchers and the things that you made, um, we are really excited to see them. Thanks, everybody.